Hawks win the Stanley Cup! The Hawks win the Stanley Cup! Blackhawks fans around the world, you've been there 49 years of frustration. Alex is getting ready for his first ice hockey practice. He has a huge pile of all the necessary equipment needed to participate in competition, but he needs help picking it out and sizing it to fit him. Will our athletic training students be able to help him figure out what he needs and help him size his equipment before practice? I've never played ice hockey before. What is the first thing I need? Well, let's start by getting you dressed like you would for a game. First, you're going to slip on your pants. The pants should have built-in pads around your pelvis and hips and go all the way to your knees. This will pre help prevent injuries like hip pointers and other bruising around your thighs and kneecaps. Some brands have raised spine protection, which is a great added feature. Make sure the pants are snug, but not too tight. While you are playing, your pants must be laced or zipped up at all times. Well, now that I have the pants on, what do I need to wear on top? Next, we will size you for your shoulder pads. Shoulder pads are very important because not only do they protect your so shoulders and clavicle, biceps and triceps, but they play an important role in protecting your chest and spine. Imagine taking a puck right to the chest or a collision if you weren't protected. Again, make sure when strapped it fits snug but not too tight. There should be no excessive movement from the pads during activity. I thought the shoulder pads were just for football players, but you're right, these will definitely keep me very protected. But what about my forearms and elbows? Getting hit in the funny bone isn't any fun. Well that's why you wear elbow pads and gloves. Your elbow pads will not only protect your elbow, but it will go all the way up to protect your triceps from collisions, the puck, and pliers sticks. Again, make sure they are a snug fit and do not slide on your arm. Your gloves will protect your hands and forearm during injury. <laughs> They should properly fit as to allow you to maintain control of your stick and puck. They should fit loosely in the fingers so that they can still move. Your pads should extend all the way up to your forearm, leaving minimal distance between your gloves and elbow pads. This ensures full protection against collisions that can cause fractures and bruising. Now that the entire upper body is fully protected, what else can I possibly need? You will definitely want to protect your shins during competition. Getting hit repeatedly by a puck or stick in the shin or ankle can become extremely painful and if severe enough can cause a fracture. Wearing shin pads will help prevent this. Shin pads should cover the front of the shin from just below the knee to just below the ankle. <laughs> protection. Almost, but that is exactly what you're missing. Protection for your head. This is a helmet. Your helmet should fit snugly. There should only be a finger width space between the rim of your helmet and your eyebrows. Don't forget to fasten the chin strap too. This will help keep the helmet secure to your head while competing. Just make sure two fingers can fit between your chin and the strap. That way it is not too tight. Although you don't need one in the NHL, you are also required to wear a face mask with your mask. This will help prevent many facial injuries. The face mask to helmet combo will prevent head injuries and other facial injuries that are also very prevalent in the sport of ice hockey due to its rough nature. You may also want to wear a mouth guard that is fitted to cover the entirety of your upper jaw. This will help prevent mouth injuries. Great, looks like I'm fully protected and ready to hit the ice. You are definitely fully protected, 
but if you're playing ice hockey, you're going to need ice skates. You must first make sure that they are properly sized though. Skates usually run a size or a size and a half down from your normal shoe size. So that is the first step to proper sizing. When you buy your skates, make sure you try them on with the type of sock that you're going to be wearing when playing. Next, drive your heel deep into the back of the skate. Your toes should only graze the toe cap. After you lace up the skates, walk around for a little to make sure they fit comfortably. Your, shoe, your foot should be snug in the heel and your toes should be extended and able to move. How's that feel? I think they're a good fit. Thanks so much. I'm finally ready to start participating. Yep, good luck. Pain is in the building.